Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Um, today we're going to be using some more of the scrapbook.com cut files. This time they're the Color Me Happy files and is that not so perfect for rainbows? It just blows my mind with the excitement. So I used two of the cut files. I used the one which technically could be a dashboard as well if you're using it to cut something out. But I decided to make mine more into a November plan with me page Ooh -hoo! with all the rainbows. Now, if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell so that you can remember when um, new posts are posted exciting so let's get straight into this rainbow themed uh, November plan with me really excited thank you scrapbook.com for these amazing cut files and so easy to use all right let's get straight into it I'm using rainbow colored cardstock which I've already cut into my November spread and I've also used the cut file from scrapbook.com I'm going to I've cut them to the perfect size of my bullet journal and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a basic red down at the bottom what I'm going to have do from here is I'm going to stick each one of the corresponding letters and colors over the top which I'm pretty excited to do because it's going to create a really sweet little rainbow Now that we've stuck all the pieces in, we're going to put the black Color Me Happy overlay over the top of them. And then the color's just going to peek out the top. I'm going to make it flapping, so a little flappable page, so that way I can still see my November cover page. How sweet is that? So rainbowy. Alright, let's get started with our second spread. This is really straightforward. I'm just going to paint and I'm going to splatter paint as I go. I'm painting it obviously in a rainbow formation. So from pink, red, orange, yellow, green, teal, blue and then finally purple and lavender. I've kept it really simple because I want this to to show you that you can use a lot of color but also use it really simply as well. You don't need to be artistic to make this happen and I'm going to be using accessories as well. So now I'm using some washi tape and I'm kind of corresponding my washi tape with the rainbow. I turn turns out I didn't have a lot of yellow so I only had one strip of yellow but that's okay it's not a big deal. I had some cardstock left over from when I made the November cover page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my big happy planner punch and I'm going to cut out some pieces of bullet journal paper. I'm going to affix that to the cardstock and I'm going to kind of create a little border around them. Alright, now that they're all cut and lined up, let's start positioning them on the page where we want them to be. As I go, I I'm, I'm still want them to be in the rainbow formation, but I'm noticing that it's a little bit tricky to fit all four of the pink, red, orange and yellow on one side of the page. So, what I'm going to do is I'm kind of got to just cut them in half and hope that they fit a little bit better. I've still got heaps of room to write on, so it's not a big deal if I do. Now that I'm happy with the positions they're in, I'm going to add some really cute embellishments all the way around. I'm still keeping that rainbowy theme and trying really hard to match the embellishments to the color on the page.
Here I'm using another scrapbook.com cut file. This time I'm using it with the Be Happy Happy box uh, from the Happy Planner and it was just some of the tissue paper that was surrounding it. I've still got the leftover cut pieces from when I cut the other little spread pages in half. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle some paint over this page in a rainbow color scheme again and then I'm going to stick those half squares in theme I'm also going to stick in some really sweet little um, embellishments very similar to the previous page and I'm going to pop them through the rainbow almost like a little pin board. Let's stick in the days of the week. Let's get that ready. Remember to label the days of the week too starting at Monday and finishing on Sunday. Add a couple of last minute embellishments with a couple of stickers here and there and we're ready to go. Our November first two weeks and cover spread are finished. Thank you so much for joining us today. I had so much fun and I hope you did too. If you'd like to see us on some other social medias, hit us up on Instagram, that's where I hang out the most, as well as Facebook and Pinterest. See you next time. Bye.